The Reconstruction era was a pivotal period in American history. As the nation grappled with the aftermath of the Civil War and the challenges of reintegrating the defeated Confederate states back into the Union. It was also a time of hope and progress for African Americans who experienced newfound freedom and political power only to see it swiftly dismantled. In this video, we'll explore the advances made by black people during Reconstruction and the factors that brought this progress to a halt. Join us as we delve into this fascinating period of American history. Following the end of the Civil War, the United States embarked on a massive undertaking to rebuild the nation and address the issues of civil rights and racial equality. The passage of the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments to the Constitution laid the groundwork for a new era of freedom and opportunity for African Americans. President Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation declared that slaves in the Confederate States were to be set free and the 13th Amendment solidified this change by officially abolishing slavery in the United States. This monumental shift marked the beginning of a new chapter in the lives of millions of African Americans. Ratified in 1868, the 14th Amendment granted citizenship to all people born or naturalized in the United States, including former slaves. This significant development overrode the Dred Scott decision of 1857, which had declared that black people could not become U.S. citizens. The 14th Amendment also guaranteed equal protection under the law and extended due process rights to all citizens, regardless of race. The 15th Amendment, ratified in 1870, prohibited denying the right to vote based on race, color, or previous condition of servitude. This landmark amendment granted black men the right to vote and participate in the political process, paving the way for the election of African Americans to public office. During the Reconstruction era, African Americans experienced significant political and social advancements as they navigated their newfound freedom and sought to build a better future for themselves and their communities. In the years following the Civil War, black men were elected to local, state, and federal offices across the South. Notable examples include Hiram Rhodes Revels and Blanche K. Bruce, who became the first two African-American U.S. Senators, both representing Mississippi. During this time, more than 600 African-Americans served in state legislatures and as delegates to state constitutional conventions. Established in 1865, the Freedmen's Bureau aimed to help former slaves transition to freedom by providing food, clothing, medical care, and education. The Bureau established over 1,000 schools across the South, offering a vital opportunity for African Americans to receive an education, often for the first time. These efforts laid the foundation for future black educational institutions, such as Morehouse College and Fisk University. Freed from the bonds of slavery, African Americans sought to build new lives and gain economic independence. Many became sharecroppers, tenant farmers, or wage laborers, while others pursued skilled trades and opened small businesses. Some African Americans were also able to purchase land. Despite the significant progress made by African Americans during Reconstruction, their advancements were met with a fierce backlash from white Southerners who resented changes to the social and political order. This opposition manifested itself in the rise of white supremacist groups, the implementation of discriminatory laws, and the use of violence to suppress black progress. Groups like the Ku Klux Klan, founded in 1865, sought to maintain white supremacy and restore the pre-war racial hierarchy. Using intimidation, violence, and even murder, these organizations targeted African Americans, 
as well as white Republicans who supported black rights. The Klan's terror tactics effectively suppressed black political participation and contributed to the eventual decline of African-American representation in politics. To further undermine black progress, Southern states passed a series of laws known as the Black Codes, which aimed to restrict the civil rights and economic opportunities of African Americans. These laws limited black people's access to public spaces, employment opportunities, and voting rights. The Black Codes eventually evolved into the Jim Crow laws, which reinforced racial segregation and entrenched inequality for generations to come. The Reconstruction era came to an abrupt halt with the Compromise of 1877, a political agreement to resolve the disputed 1876 presidential election between Republican Rutherford B. Hayes and Democrat Samuel J. Tilden. In exchange for conceding the election to Hayes, Democrats demanded the withdrawal of federal troops from the South. This marked the end of federal oversight in the region, allowing Southern states to reassert control and dismantle any progress made by African Americans during Reconstruction. The Reconstruction era remains a complex and contested period in American history. While it brought significant advancements for African Americans, these gains were ultimately short-lived and subsequent backlash left a lasting impact on race relations in the United States. The setbacks experienced by African Americans during Reconstruction did not extinguish their resolve to fight for equality. Throughout the late 19th and 20th centuries, black leaders, activists, and organizations continued to challenge racial injustice and work towards a more equitable society. The civil rights movement of the 1950s and 1960s brought renewed attention to the struggle for equality, leading to the eventual dismantling of Jim Crow and the passage of key civil rights legislation. The Reconstruction era offers valuable lessons on the complexities of race, power, and politics in American history. By examining this period, we can better understand the factors that contributed to the rise and fall of black empowerment and the long struggle for civil rights as we continue to grapple with issues of racial inequality in the 21st century, the lessons of Reconstruction remind us of the power of hope, resilience, and the ongoing pursuit of justice. In sum, the Reconstruction era was a time of profound change, marked by the promise of freedom and opportunity for African Americans. Although these advancements were tragically short-lived, the period continues to serve as an important reminder of both the progress that has been made and the challenges that still lie ahead in the ongoing struggle for racial equality in the United States. Thanks for watching.